Uh, do the rich people cringe and say, don't tell them that, Robert? Yes, yes, yes. Don't tell people what, they, what you know. Right. Keep them poor. The poor will always be amongst us because it starts up here. It's, it's in their words, you know, and the words become flesh. But when they say, I can't afford it or I can't do that, they go down. They become what they say. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. Because this is an escape. It's an escape. You know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when you, when you could go to the gym, but no, I can't. The truth is, I'm just too lazy to go to the gym. And your rich dad used to say what instead of, I can't afford it? How can I afford it? How can I do that? You know, what would it take or why should I do that? He says, a, a question opens a mind, a statement closes the mind. See, when you say, I can't afford it, your mind shuts down and you become what you say. But the thing is, is that we become creatures of our own habits. And until we break the habit, we don't change. Because to be rich, you have to give something. The way you get rich, is you solve other people's problems. Right, that's how you create value. Yeah, poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And so the people right now who are sitting at home, <clears throat> who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing. It was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or you'll, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. If you're poor, you'll always be poor. Just like most pro athletes, you know, they make millions of dollars, and what, 65% are bankrupt five years later? It's because they come from poor families. Now you tell them that, they get very angry at you. It's not, it's a rich fault. You know, it's you guys ripped me off and government ripped me off. It's passed down genetically. That's the frightening thing. We gotta change what we teach our kids. And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe. They haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school. That means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. The school system will never teach you about money. The school system was designed to teach you to be an employee, which is important, or a doctor or a lawyer, a specialist, but never about money. So I remember raising my hand when I was nine years old, talking to my, ninth, my fourth grade teacher, and I said, you know, when am I gonna learn about money? She says, the love of money is the root of all evil. We don't teach money at school. I said, why not? And she couldn't answer me. And she got very flustered. She said, sit down, take your seat. And then I got curious. I said, why don't we learn about money? She says, go ask your father. He's, the, he's my boss. So my father was the head of education, PhD, all that stuff. I go home and ask him, I said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and says, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. I said, but you get a job to earn money. He goes, no, you're supposed to just get a job. I went, no, 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 no. Isn't the purpose of a job to earn money? He goes, you're correct. I said, so why don't I just learn about money? I can skip the job part, you know? And he got flustered and he said, 